This video is to demonstrate how to create a network data set. First step is to go into a feature data set, right click, new network data set. In this case, I'm going to rename it Tech Network. Going to select Tech Streets and click Next. We are going to model turns in this network, therefore, yes is automatically clicked, as is global turns. The default connectivity will work for us. If you were to click it, it talks about tech streets endpoint. Click OK and next. We will be modeling ele with elevation data. Using elevation fields from end is the FZ elevation and to end is the TZ elevation. Click next. Including elevation data means that network analysis will consider the locations of overpasses, bridges, and underpasses which are coded with different elevation classifications. So if you were routing an emergency service vehicle to an incident, network analyst would know to not have the vehicle turn off in the middle of a bridge and onto the street that crosses below it. We are now at the specify the attributes for the network data set step of the new network data set dialog in this step we will define the attributes that will be used by the network by network analysts when solving networking problems such as route analysis or a service area for example if your project is to determine the best route between your home and the Tacoma Dome you would need to specify what the term best represents are you looking for the shortest route maybe the fastest route, maybe the route with the least traffic. Each of these routes would be determined, determined based on attributes that are attached to the line segments that make up a street feature class. For example, the length of the segment, expected time that it would take to traverse the say, segment, traffic volume of the segment. We will be working with three different attributes in this assignment, distance, drive time, and walk time. Therefore, we must define three attributes that will be used by the network analyst in the new network data set that we're creating. To do so, in this step, we're going to click Add and click on the Add New Attribute dialog. And here is the Add New Attribute dialog. The first attribute that we're going to add is Distance. The usage type is cost. We'll leave it at cost. We'll be using the length miles field that was created above. Miles. And the data type is double. We're going to leave use by default checked because it will be the default attribute that is used by network analysts when performing the new network analysis. From here we can click OK. Notice that there is a yellow exclamation point. This is to warn us that we we've made been notified that we've created an attribute for network analysts to use when performing network analysis we have not yet defined the source of the attribute in this assignment. We're using a field from the street data set. To remedy the yellow exclamation part point, you must enter the evaluators dialog for the new distant attribute. We can do so in various ways. Perhaps the easiest being to simply click the evaluators button. However, we won't set the evaluators in this for this attribute until we've created all of our attributes. Then we'll set all of the evaluators at one time. We're going to add two more attributes to our list using the following parameters. Add one that will be drive time. 
the usage is cost, the units is minutes, and the data is double. We're going to add the third, which is walk time, the usage is cost, the units are minutes, and the field type data type is double. All three still have an exclamation point, and we can see that the top one, the miles double, is the default with the D on it. We'll now click the Evaluators button, and we'll set the values that will be used by network analysts during network analyses using these attributes. In the Evaluators dialog, begin by choosing Distance from the Attribute menu. Notice that there are yellow exclamation part marks next to the source listing, which should be text streets. You must define a value that network analyst uses for each side of the line segment during analysis, the from side and the to side, or left and right side. Click the blank space below type for each. direction of tax streets and drop down menu will provide you with four options filled constant function and VB script we're going to choose field because we're using a field from tax streets feature to decide the distance of each line segment in this network choose field again after choosing field, you'll notice that there is a null value beneath the value listing. Click on the null value and a drop-down menu will appear that provides a list of all the fields available in the tax streets feature. We're using the length miles field that we created earlier. Choose the same field for both of the items. From here we'll go on to set the other attributes. For drive time, select field, select field, the value will be for drive time, drive time minutes, and drive time minutes. For walk time, it'll be a field and walk time minutes. When we're done, we click OK. We're now back in the new network dataset dialog box and our exclamation points are now gone. May we, we may now click Next to move on to the Driving Direction Settings step. In this step, we want Yes selected, and then we need to click Directions. This is the Network Directions Properties. Hopefully, we won't have to change anything. We're just here to verify. We're verifying that distance is being used as the length attribute and that drive time is being used as the time attribute in the settings window. If walk time is in the time attribute field, then click walk time and a drop down menu pro will provide other options, one of which should be drive time for you to use that as the time attribute. Click Drive Time to use rather than Walk Time. After you're certain that Drive Time is your time attribute, click OK on the Directions Properties dialog and click Next in the New Network Dataset dialog. This final screen in the New Network Dataset dialog is a summary of your dataset. You can review the parameters that you've set here. If you need to make changes, which you shouldn't in this assignment, use the Back button to find the appropriate step in which to make your change. 
Otherwise, click Finish and the dialog will inform you that a new network data set is being created. Building is the process that Network Analyst goes through to create the various elements that will be used in your network. When you create a network data set, you have defined the parameters of your network, and when you build your network, then all of the elements, junction points, and network segments are created. You do not need to add the TAC network, TAC network features to your map at this point. Verify now that you have in your Lab 6 feature dataset two new features, TAT Network and TAC Network Junctions. These are the two primary files that constitute your network dataset. If you have these two features, then you can move on to the next step. If not, I re re recommend that you review the above steps to see what you may have skipped. And that is how you create a new network dataset.